In this video, we're going to talk about how you can take your rendered Fire IG, which you did locally, and publish it using GitHub Pages so it can be publicly accessible and viewable. All right, so this video is a little bit more technical, and there's a couple of steps. So just take your time, pause the video, rewind as necessary. These are the main steps that we're going to cover. The first thing is we're going to create a new GitHub repository or repo. And we're going to use that to store all of our fish files, our Fire IG files, things like that. And then within there, we are going to go back to our Sushi project, which is in VS Code. We're going to initialize a new GitHub, a Git project. And I'm going to do that to push all of the files that we have into the new repository that we created. Afterwards, once that is done, we're going to create a new branch. We're going to check it out. We're going to call that branch GH Pages, and we're going to create a new folder in there called Docs. And what we're going to do on this branch is we're going to take all of those output files that we created from running that Gen Once script and move it to this new Docs folder. And so we can then point the GitHub Pages to that folder to render our um, Fire IG. And so for that step to happen, once all of that is pushed into that docs folder and it's pushed into our repository in that branch, we're going to go to back to GitHub, go to GitHub page settings, and then just point it towards that new folder. Once that's done and you save it, it's going to automatically start deploying all of the files from that docs folder into a new publicly accessible GitHub page that you can easily share with other people so they can see your new IG. And the very last step we'll do here is just to make it easy for people to associate the GitHub and the rendered IG is just to add a readme link to that published IG. And that'll be the steps for this video. So what we're going to do is we will go back to, let's see, VS Code over here. And I'm just going to go off screen, make this a little bigger. And so this is our Fire IG that we created at first. And you can see that we have our output files over here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to initialize a new Git project. All right, so now we have a Git project. And we want to take all this and push it to our GitHub repository. And now to do that, we have to make sure we have a GitHub repository. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen, go over here, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new repository. I'm just going to call this GitHub page demo. I'm not going to add anything else. I'm going to make it public and just go ahead and create that repository. And they give you some nice instructions that we're going to follow along with, which is down here. We're going to want to add this uh, remote repository to our Git project. So we can push changes to it. So let me go back and tab over to VS Code. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and add that over here. Git remote add origin git at github.com. UFB fun github page demo.git. Let me hide this. It's like blocking my view. There it is. So now all of those files are staged. So you can see it here. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and add, uh, get add. So now they're staged. Set that wrong. I just added the remote branch at first. So now those files are staged. I'm going to go ahead and commit those changes. That is my initial commit. So all of those files are now committed. The last step here is to just make sure my branch, this is a good practice from GitHub, make sure my branch is named main. And then I'm going to then push all of those changes to my main, which is the new repository that I created. So that is done. If I go to my, let me share the screen again, GitHub pages. Now, if I go ahead and refresh it, all of the files that was in my Sushi project are now available here. So now we're all set and our files are here. This is just for sharing uh, that piece. The next step would be to actually 
create a new branch for GH pages. And then in that branch alone, I'm going to move all the files from the output folder over to a new folder that GitHub will look at to create the page. So now let's go back to VS Code over here. Let me go off screen again. And so what I want to do is I'm going to check out a new new branch called GH pages. So a new branch, as you can see down here, GH pages. And then what I'm going to do is I want to make a new directory in here for docs. So that folder is here. And I want to move all the files from this output into this new folder over here. So I'm going to move output and move all the files with the asterisks and I'll move it to docs. So now all of those files are now not in here and they are now all in docs. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all of those uh, files from docs. So I can stage them. So let me just go over here. There's a bunch of files. They are all staged. And I'm going to go ahead and commit them. I'm going to add uh, all output files to new docs folder for GitHub pages. That is now committed. Now I just need to push the GH pages, all of those cha changes to the GitHub pages branch. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch my screen. If we take a look at this, we if we give it a refresh, we now have two branches. One of those is the new branch that we created called GH pages. In GH Pages, we created that new folder called Docs. Docs has all of those output files, most importantly, that index.html, which is somewhere down here. There it is, index.html. So now we're all set, and we just need to configure the page to get it published. So if I go to Settings, go down to Pages, this is all set to deploy from branch. And then down here, this is the branch that we have, GH Pages. We want to make sure we save it to docs. So we want to point it there, give it a save. Once it's saved, it's going to be automatically deployed. You can see it in actions. You can see it. it's this one, actually. So it's going to go ahead and build our page using the files in that folder. It just takes uh, a few seconds or rather maybe close to a minute. The larger your file is, the uh, longer it'll take, of course, but ours is pretty small, so it shouldn't take too much longer. And once we're do once that is deployed, we'll circle back to that. Maybe we can go ahead and add the readme for now. So let me go ahead and add that readme. Link to rendered fire IG. It's going to do that. Won't add it yet. If I go back to... Oh, there it is. Let's go here. So here's our deployed page. So now we have a publicly facing URL that we can let people see our nicely rendered IG. So all I'm going to do is go back here. I didn't share the screen. Sorry about that. If I click on this link, it will take me to my rendered Fire IG. It's a publicly accessible page that I can show people my Fire IG. So if I go back here, it's going to copy this link, go back to here, add readme, and then say link to Fire IG, commit changes, and there you go. Now you have a very easy way to show people your rendered IG, and GitHub does all the legwork for you. And that's it for the end of this video. Thanks for watching.